Hey, what's going on everyone? Today I got my puppy, Linguini. She was born back in November, or I think November 12th. So it's been, I think, around 10-ish uh, weeks, a little bit over 10 weeks. I think it's a well over 10 weeks. So today is April 28th. So if you want to do the math, you can. Um, it's, only, it's almost May and there is pollen out here. Like you would expect, you can actually smell it. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna be like, how this is gonna be our farm dog in just a few months. She's not gonna be sleeping outside. She's gonna be sleeping in the bed like most people's dogs would. Oh, your leash is getting caught there, buddy. Here, come on, I got you. There you go. I, I do have treats on me. Like any person taking their puppy on a walk would do to help work with them. So today we're just taking her through through these fields, maybe giving a quick farm tour. That video's not gonna come out until I think early June when I actually do a farm tour without my puppy though. Um, if you guys want, I can make more videos where I'm just walking my dog and talking about stuff for whatever reason. So let's get into it. So yeah, right now I'm pretty much just going anywhere where this dog wants to go to be honest. So like, we're going anywhere and everywhere over here. Um, right over here is where we usually have like a dirt bike trail. Um, and she apparently wants to go through here. I don't know why. Um, you can hear the rain's beginning to come down out here. It's a Sunday afternoon today, so pretty nice. But I have to wake up at 5 a.m. tomorrow. So the key to getting your farm dog to listen to you is to work with her. So as you can see, I've got her in a sitting position. And I'm going to give her this treat. Here, there you go. Yep. That is my puppy, Linguini or Ember, depending on who you are. I'm personally going with the Linguini. Um, my family goes with the light. You know how it is. So you can see here, these woods are pretty desolate out here. We have a, we have a ton of trails here for walking or dirt biking or off-roading or using a four-wheeler or whatever. There's a ton of stuff you can do out here in these woods. And because these are the hills, there's a lot of hills like you'd expect. Um, the summit of the farm is actually way over there. And that's around 887 feet to my understanding. So if you're wondering, that's what's going on over there. So the dog loves these hills and this is something to work with if you have a puppy and you have some land or you want to go on a quick walk taking her on these walks with our leash on is a really good way for her to like begin trusting you another thing is if you live near water that you know like you can like go into or whatever then like you can test and see if your dog likes the water which my dog she i think she loves the water actually she loves her water so i'm going to go really quickly try this treat thing again as you can see, she is beginning to get a little bit more control, but she doesn't smell the treat yet, so that's good. Wait till she finds out I'm holding a treat in one of my hands. All right, Linguini, sit, sit. Yes, yeah, good dog. Yep, there we go. That's the puppy for you. Giving her some treats is a nice way to get her to trust you. She loves her treats, by the way. Like she really loves her treats. Like any dog would, obviously. Yeah, this hill right over here is actually fairly steep, believe it or not. And as you can see, the the greens are beginning to come up in here. That's really that's really looking pretty nice. I thought it wasn't even supposed to rain today. Yo. Why is it actually raining today? I have no clue. That's a good question. You should tell that to the meteorologist. Why did it decide to rain today? I have no clue. It wasn't supposed to happen, but it happens. I remember a few years ago we were supposed to get 0 .03 inches, and we got over eight inches of rain. And as you probably know, that caused a pretty big issue on the farm. What what did you find? What did you find, huh? Hey, come on, bro. Dogs will be dogs. Let's go. Come on. What did you find that's interesting so much? Dogs will be dogs, man. And they are a big pain. Every single time. And right as we go down this hill, there is actually a tree that snapped over there because of that snowstorm we got a few weeks ago. We got about two inches of snow from it. Linguini, sit. Sit. Linguini, touch. Yes, good dog. Yep, she knows touch, sit, heel, pretty much all those. But I can't do heel when she's on a leash because her walking distance is not that big. See, so yeah, as you can see, this hill's pretty steep right here. This would be actually pretty good for skiing or snowboarding. But these trees are working against you in that scenario. It was just, it was just blowing pollen over there, man. A few days ago, it was like literally, it literally looked like it was snowing pollen. That's how crazy it was. And it was snowing pollen quote unquote at such a rate that like you could like literally like hear not here but like you could literally see it and it looked like it would probably like if it was snowing like that you'd probably get about 
three quarters of an inch in an hour. So pollen is being crazy over here. And yeah, that's one of the, and another pretty big reason why we keep our dogs here is also like for guarding. Although this dog does anything but that. What do you want? What, what do you want, man? This dog will do anything except guarding the property. The only thing she guards is um, her treats for many other dogs. All right, I got some treats for you, buddy. Hey, Linguini, sit. Sit. Good dog. There you go. Yep, and um, I just want to say, unfortunately, we did lose two chickens uh, over the course of the last 24 hours. I'll tell you the story real quick. Um, one of the farm flog Easter eggers had a respiratory infection. I have no clue what it was. It was, it sounded like she was in pain and yes, she was, but that was because like there was something wrong with like her lungs or something like that. So like we had no clue what was actually happening. So we sent her in for testing and just in case we unfortunately had to put the chicken down. And earlier today we had to put down a meat chicken because it was having a heart attack. Unfortunately, the meat chickens that grow at such a rate, those are the Cornish crosses. So they grow at a much bigger rate than a freedom rangers do. So that's why with the Freedom Rangers, we I think we lost one of them when they were young, and then they, we didn't lose any more after that. So it's important to note that if you're a, a ch chicken farmer, that if you raise like Cornish hens, they're gonna probably give you more issues than you will with Freedom Rangers, which is why I have the more, um, so I personally prefer, free, prefer Freedom Rangers just a bit more. Let's cut to when we're at the stream. We got a lot of rain since we got that pretty big snowstorm. There's some barbed wire over here. Gotta watch out for that sort of stuff. It could cause some issues if you don't watch out for it. So this is our stream. It is running low because of a beaver dam and unfortunately the beaver dam is not gonna let up because every time it looks like it will, those stupid beavers rebuild it. And you're like, oh, I thought you loved nature. Well, for farming, beavers are your biggest oppositions. Oh, could you stop with the skunk cabbage, man? Oh, you love your water? What are you gonna do about it? So yeah, the beavers are gonna be your biggest oppositions when you're farming because what they'll do is they'll like build a dam and they'll block off any moving water. So it'll cause that sort of issue. And I have no clue what these holes are. Can you guys explain this? I've seen these before, they're like little sink holes. I can't really explain them. This is a little bit like that air, the ground over there is a bit mushy. So not terribly surprised. And there is the secret stream back there, if you're wondering. That's where the property line between State Forest and the property is right over there, if you're wondering. Looks like she doesn't want to go into the water, which I mean is pretty understandable to be honest. I'd say I wouldn't really want to go in the water when it's like really humid out. Today's a really humid day actually. Like it, it, it was supposed to be like 72 today. I don't think it got above like 70. I think it got like 65 today. Linguini, sit. Sit. Linguini, sit. You're doing so well. Why aren't you doing well now? Sit. Good dog. Yes, good dog. And yeah, you can see there is a mud stain on her snout. And the reason for that, are you asking, is quite simple. Because her snout keeps going into the ground and she's trying to dig holes in her dog yard, which is not good at all, believe it or not. Um, because that'll cause like, because like, if you're not like worried, because if you're going in there worry free, then you're probably gonna like notice that like, you're probably gonna just step in one of those holes and you could get like some injuries on your neck and your shoulders and stuff like that. So it's not fun. Come on, we're going back home, man. It's too little too late to go in the water. Let's go back, watch out for the barbed wire. Let's go around the barbed wire. You know, go around the barbed wire. Come on, go around the barbed wire. I like how it's still raining even now. I thought it would end by this point in the video. But it's literally been raining like this for like the whole day to be honest so like that's cool we it didn't amount to anything literally so yeah i want the beaver dam gone as soon as possible and unfortunately since it's not on our farm we can't really do anything about it if it was on the farm though then that beaver dam would have been gone the second it was etched into the map in 2022 because it causes issues this stream will be really nice for the garden come on yo let's go we're not going this way no this way you doofus you moron whatever you want to call it like seriously, puppies have, seriously have minds that are like two minds controlling them. One of them will listen to you, the other one will not listen to you. We'll go to the upper fields, okay? We'll go right up to the upper fields and then we'll be chilling there. Come on, bro. What is y'all's issue? There's tons of weird stuff that's been found in these woods, by the way, if you're wondering. There's been some car tires and some other stuff found here. There's also, believe it or not, in these woods, been a few ghost sightings of 
some ghostly figures around here, but don't worry, not around now. Those usually happen, I'd say most of them happen at around, like the most of the reports I've seen was actually one of my friends who drove by a little bit after 5.30, saw something on the side of the road according to him. So that's not, and although it's not a really reliable source, I've having a few sightings at around 5.30ish, but I'm not on the bus till six, so that's not a concern at all. So yeah, if you're wondering real quick, I'm gonna be posting my next day in life a little while later, and you're like, why'd you click on this video then if it's just an update on life, really? Well, I don't know, it's just a video of me walking my dog, really, and talking about really anything. And it's showing you how well-trained, quote-unquote, this dog is, really. So yeah, it looks like at this point, the dog is literally just trying to get back home at this point, which I mean, is understandable. It's a terrible day to be out and walking because of how humid it is. And Tomorrow, supposedly, it's supposed to be like 82 degrees, so yeah, that's gonna be fun. Not really looking forward to it. So yeah, it looks like this dog will be our farm dog. She'll be coming outside with us, like do the chickens or whatever. But at, right now, she doesn't really like the chickens too much. She chases them around, especially her favorite one to chase is the rooster. And by the way, we don't let her do this. Just so you know, she gets out herself. She's a puppy. She has two minds, as I talked about earlier. One of them's calm, and the other one, unfortunately, really isn't too calm. So, if you enjoyed, be sure to click the like and subscribe, man. We're talking about farming, chickens, gardening, anything really. And we're gonna be talking a whole lot about gardening, especially as we get into the season this year. Maybe some double daily uploads to squeeze out some gardening videos quickly. So, yeah, if you enjoyed, it's a consideration. Click on the video, man. It's waiting for you patiently.